Welcome to the CAPS Library. We wanted to take this opportunity to briefly introduce you to the site. If you haven't already, please go ahead and create an account. Go to the upper right hand corner of capsresearch.org, click on Login, and then click again on the drop down to register. You'll be walked through a series of quick steps, beginning with your email. Please fill out the form using your business email. Users that are member companies will have their permissions set based on domain. If you're at a member company and our system does not recognize your domain, please contact us. When you reach the final step, click the register button. We'll send you a validation email right away. Find it in your inbox and click on the link to validate your account and begin using the CAPS library. If you don't see the email, please be sure to check your spam and clutter boxes and if you still don't see it, contact us. Let's begin by taking a look at search. On the right, we have a tag cloud with some of the popular report tags. If you click on any of the tags, you'll be taken to a list of reports with that tag. It's just a quick and easy way to get some reports that you may be interested in. Another great way to browse is by tabs. Here we have Featured, which we'll come back to, Most Recent, Most Popular, which will continue to evolve with more users and site usage, and My Favorites. The Featured tab highlights new and interesting reports or things we believe you might find interesting. For example, we know a large number of CAPS library users search for our annual metrics of supply management or cross-industry report. The Featured tab is your shortcut to the most recent report. Taking a look at the Favorites tab, you have the ability to toggle the stars on the right-hand side of the screen to mark your favorite reports or ones you intend to come back to for quick reference. Red stars are favorited, outline stars are waiting to be favorited. In basic search, the library searches for each term in its entirety within the text of our reports that we've published over more than 30 years. If it takes a minute, please be patient. You can also try a basic search with key terms separated by AND and OR. For example, let's say you're interested in cost savings, but particularly want more information on cost avoidance. Use the AND and you'll see reports that include both terms. Now let's say you want to broaden your definition. Search for cost avoidance or cost reduction for documents that contain either term. If you're looking for something specific, you can get as granular as you like with our advanced search. There's a field to input search terms. Our report types include research, benchmarking, and events. So if you want to search the library for one of these types, please come to advanced search. Reports released within the last four years are reserved for CAPS members. If you're not a member and only want to see results of the reports you do have access to, set the end date back by four years. Otherwise, locked, member-only reports will be noted with the padlock symbol. If you're looking for reports with a specific tag, here's where you would do it. Every single report in the CAPS library is tagged with at least one of these terms. If your search surfaces too many results, feel free to add more parameters. For example, you can add a second search term separated by AND or OR, or focus in on a date range. Now let's look at report details. Each report may be only the report, or it may include multiple files, like this research report on emerging technologies. Click on the report to download the PDF or on the video to be taken to the video page. This is a high-level view of the CAPS library search and user tips. We are adding features that will help you take advantage of the site and the wealth of information within. But if you have questions or suggestions, We'd be happy to hear from you. Thanks and happy exploring.